Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new video on my channel. Today's video, I'm here, I'm smoking a rolled up cigarette by myself. Rolled by myself. Um, it's about half smoked, but that's fine. I'll roll myself another in about a few minutes once this is done. But um, yeah, I feel good today because I've had my breakfast. I normally don't have a good breakfast, but I had a good breakfast today. Well, a small amount. I've had my watermelon, my sliced up watermelon. I've had my mango. Now, mango is probably one of my favorite fruits fruits that I, that I like. Watermelon, I like watermelon as well. Watermelon is full of all those juices that you like. Um, and I just love them both, you know. So I had them, small little tub, which was amazing. I loved it. It was good. Um, normally when I have something for my breakfast, it's usually like a couple sausages from the freezer and then I just cook them. I had to save that because it was literally about to go out, so sorry for the pause. But, um, yeah, usually I just take a couple sausages out of the freezer and then I cook them and then I eat them. Or if we have rolls, then I just have them in a roll. But, obviously, that's not the best for you every single morning that you get up and you have that. So, I had fruit today, which is really good. Um, I do love a fry-up, though. Oh, my God. Fry-ups are amazing. Have you ever had a fry-up before? Obviously, people from the UK and from Britain and Scotland or whatever, you know... You've obviously had a fry-up before, but from people who watch my videos who are from a different country or whatever, if you've if you've ever had a fry-up, you know, you know deep down it's probably the best breakfast that you could ever have. Yes, it's kind of unhealthy, but Jesus Christ, it is amazing. Oh my God. Like, what it essentially is, is it's just... Obviously, if, if you've had one before, and if you know what I'm talking about, just skip this part. But those of you who don't know what a fry-up is, right? This is called, like, a Scottish breakfast, right? Or an English breakfast, whatever they call them, right? But, obviously, I have the Scottish one, right? Or I just usually have the one that I like, which is the way how I do mine. So, what it is, is you get, like, beans, like Heinz beans. And then you have your, well, this is how I do mine. Then I have my mushrooms on it with the beans, and then I have potato scone, and then hash browns, and then a couple sausages, then like three slices of bacon, and then sometimes fried bread. Oh my god. Oh my god. All of them together, just like separately, in like little portions, is the best thing. Like two hash browns, two potato scones, like two basically everything, you know? But like very thin sliced up mushrooms. Because I really like mushrooms, and a lot of people don't like mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. Like, in a way, right now, I want to make myself one, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't like having mushrooms where they're cooked. I only like cooking them if they've already got a good bit of oil in them, or like, if the moisture from the mushrooms when you're cooking them already has some kind of oil to them or it makes oil you know what I mean or you can just fry them in you know bacon oil when you've been cooking bacon but um oh my god it is the best thing ever in my opinion like I, I just love mushrooms store-bought mushrooms none of that other types of mushrooms that a lot of people will be probably thinking <laughs> none of that my cigarette is dead well I'll smoke it later but um Time to go roll up another. But yeah, that is how I have mine. Mostly people who don't like mushrooms but do enjoy them usually have egg on them. I hate egg. I mean, I, I just think that it's a very... It's something that shouldn't really be eaten. But yes, it is very healthy and it, yes, it's very good for you. But I don't like eating egg. Because I don't like where it comes from and how... It is, like, yeah, it's fucking new, yeah, it's, like, so good for you, but it's, like, it's just sick, in my opinion, to eat that, but, um, yeah. I'll eat egg, like, from cakes and stuff, but I won't eat, 
real egg. You know what I mean? You know how like cakes are made out of egg? Um, egg, egg has, cake, cake has egg in it, egg in it. What the fuck is all this? Yeah, cakes have a lot of egg in them. Um, that's how most of the cakes are made. You do get eggless cakes though. But, um, most of them are made out of egg. But, like I said, I don't eat egg. I don't like egg. But yeah, they usually have tomato in them, egg in them, and then sometimes mushroom. But like I said, a lot of people don't like mushroom. And either potato scones or ash browns. And then that's a norm, well, not, not fucking normal people, but mostly the majority of people have them. But... Yeah, that's, that's why I have mine. But yeah, there's actually quite a good few foods that I hate. I hate a fucking... I hate a dairy product. There's a dairy product that I fucking hate, right? And no offense, but I hate people who even eat this dairy product that I'm going to say. Because it's just so fucking disgusting. And I don't get how people can eat it. And it's cheese. I fucking hate cheese. Like... I, I don't eat it, I've never really et, eat, eaten it before, but it's just so fucking disgusting, like, why would you eat that, you know what I mean, it's just, like, yeah, if you're having a pizza, yeah, that's that's delicious that way, you know what I mean, like, pe on pizzas, it's fine, but, like, on its own, or in something like that, it's just fucking disgusting, I don't get how people can eat it, I honestly don't, it's just the most disgusting food there is. Or one of the most disgusting foods. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking weird, you know? Even people who eat it, I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna fucking talk to you. <laughs> you know, like, that's so much I fucking hate it, you know? Um, but yeah. That's something that I fucking hate. Now, we've rolled ourselves a little cigarette. Can't wait to smoke it. I love milk though, I do love milk. I love milk where it's like, you know when you have those like, those little bars, they sell them in some stores where it's like, a chocolate kind of like, what's it called? You get them in only in some places, but it's like a chocolate-like coating on top of it. And then underneath it, in the middle, it's like this sponge kind of milk, spongy thing in the middle. And it's like made out of milk. I love them, and it's like chocolate underneath it as well. I love them things. Like, those are really good. Like, I, I could eat a lot of them. But, cheese, no, I fucking hate it. It's just disgusting. Like, yeah, I can eat it on pizza, and it's amazing, but, like, on its own, it's just disgusting. Um, I just wanted to bring that up, because it's one of the things I fucking hate. Um, but, yeah. Oh, damn. I bought a five five hundred and twelve gigabyte SanDisk um, storage card um, for my new Samsung S twenty twenty one Ultra. They've Samsung have actually stopped selling the S twenty one Ultras um, because they've lost stock in them. So this has actually became kind of rare. This phone. In a way, but obviously a lot of people are still selling them on like eBay and stuff. But um, on Samsung, you can't get them as much anymore. But um, I actually bought that S that S is it called an SD card storage card? I just call them storage cards. Um, from my from my phone, yeah, it is a it is an SD card. I bought that from my phone, and the sad thing, right? The annoying thing is, right, is that I've only got 128 gig on that phone, right? Which means I've pretty much almost used all my stories from all my high quality videos and all, all that that I've got on the phone. Thus, I bought 512 gigabyte for 100 pound 
A hundred fucking pounds for that. And guess what? It's not fucking compatible with my phone. So this means that I'm going to have to do a lot of transferring. I've got my S21. I'll show you my... This is my old phone, right? This is my old phone. My Samsung S10. Really good phone. If you want, like, a really good high-range phone, you can get these for, like, £300. They're good. You know what I mean? They are good. You can get 4K videos out of them. But they're good videos. This one can do 8K. But it don't really look that good. It just looks as good as that, in my opinion. But if you want a good phone, good phone, get the S10. The S10. Normal S10. They are brilliant. And if you want, you can take that phone apart. You can get the back pit. You can get the back part off, and then put a new color on it if you want. Mine is blue, but yeah. Because all these, like, phones, like, this phone that I've got is, like, a thousand pound, you know, but, like, if you're wanting, like, a really good phone, get that phone, like, they're not too bad on price at the moment, yeah, they're not high, high good, but they're fucking good for the price, they're better than price, I feel like they're, they're just better for the price, in my opinion, um, but, yeah, I don't use iPhones, I think iPhones are just, I don't know, I just, I just don't like iPhones. I like, I'm a Samsung type of person, you know, like, if I were to get an iPhone, it would be like the old iPhones, you know what I'm saying, like the iPhone 4, I would love to have a brand new iPhone 4, like, just because it's so old, and it's like, wow, you know what I mean, that kind of takes me back to where people always used to have them. I would just have it to, like, use and to just play little games on, you know? I would treat it like a retro Game Boy, you know? I wouldn't treat it like an ordinary phone. I'd treat it as if it's something very vintage, you know, and, like, a collectible thing. And that I would only use on rare occasions, and I would keep it very clean and in good condition, you know? Um, yeah, but I wouldn't use it for calls or anything. I would just use it as it is, you know. But they are very expensive now because obviously it's old and they're hard to get. That's why right now you can get old phones, like old iPhones, which are really cheap because they're old and no one's using them. But then when they go past two more years of being old, that's when they go really high in price. Because now they're classed as very rare, you know? Because there's not an awful lot now. So that's why I'm actually going to be buying quite a lot of the old iPhones. Well, I'm thinking about buying an awful lot of old iPhones to use, to just have as a collector's item. Um, and to get, like, some really nice cases and that for them. Because I'm just strange like that. I'm just very strange that way. And I wouldn't get, like, a, um, a pre-owned iPhone. It would always be new. Like, I can't get pre-owned things. Because it doesn't feel like my own property. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I've paid for it, but it still doesn't feel like mine. Because someone else has had it before. You know what I mean? They kind of... They just don't feel like mine, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's why I always get new things. I only like new things because it's only me who's only had it. Yeah, pre-owned things are a lot more cheaper, but when you're buying things which are new, that's when. Yeah. I'm going to go get my biggest addiction right now and have a, have a drink of it. <laughs> I love Coca-Cola. It's my biggest, my biggest addiction that I have. This over chocolate. This over anything. Which is edible, of course. But I just love Coca-Cola, you know? It's just, it's, oh my god, it's just my favourite, my favourite drink. Oofed. By the way, 
we have 56,000 views on one of my videos. That is mind-blowing to me. Like, I understand that some people have, like, 1 million views on their, on, on their videos and that, but they're high, big, top YouTubers, you know what I mean? Like, they already had money at the start, you know what I mean? They already had a big, nice mansion or whatnot, or their parents were rich, or they had good jobs, they were doctors, they were lawyers and whatnot, who get 120000 per year. But, well, up to 120000 120000 but, you know, I mean, all these big YouTubers, you know, all these YouTubers who live in these big fancy houses and have all these big fancy cars and stuff. They were already rich in the beginning, you know, so it's like me. I'm not poor, well, I'm a bit fucking poor, but, you know, I mean, it's like me. I'm none of that. But when I have 56,000 views on my video, it's like, holy fucking shit, man, you know. It's just amazing, in my opinion, how I've gotten to that point. Like, getting a thousand views on my video, on my videos was like, wow, that's okay. You know, or getting 3,000 views. But when I was getting 8,000 views on the, on one of my other videos, which was a Micah Bell outfit from Grand Theft, I got 8,000 views for that, you know? And I don't know how to make views, I just make videos. And they somehow get an awful lot of views. Like, I remember on, like, my old YouTube channels I had. Um, I would have, like, 100 views. And I was like, wow, I've got 100 views on my video, you know? But whenever I would get, like, a lot of views from my videos that I would do, I would be like, wow. A lot of people like my content then, <laughs> you know? And I feel like the best way to get a lot of views on YouTube when you're starting out is to be fucking crazy, like, no one's gonna watch someone that does a day-to-day -day thing, you know, where they hop in the shower or whatnot, or get dressed, people are gonna watch videos where it's like, people driving at high top speed, you know what I mean, Try drive away from police and that, you know what I mean, but in my case, was me using something that's been so fucking deadly, you know what I mean, so it's like, I took big risks, to get where I am, you know, again, I'm not a big YouTuber, you know, I've only got 900, 900 subscribers for God's sake, you know, but, it's raining outside, and I kind of want to be different, you know, what I mean, I, just, I don't want to like edit all my videos, I'm just here doing my own little thing, no hate, no, no, none of that, you know what I mean, sitting, sitting here, smoking, I have been considering doing some prank videos, because I know that you get a lot of views for them, but I don't have someone that would be prepared to do that, you know, like, there's a, there's a specific type of prank that I really want to do, and that I really want to pull off, but it's, dodgy and it's kind of dangerous in the same way but um that is going into supermarkets like stores like tesco asda you know whatever and just being there with my friend you know obviously i'll look good for the video i'll have my hair washed my hair is washed it's just when i sleep it always looks fucking bad <laughs> um but i would go there into these shops and then i would literally put things in other people's baskets and trolleys like random things whenever they would be looking at something and their trolley is like so far away i just simply just put something random in their trolley or something and like try not to be caught you know and to see like if they actually find me if they actually catch me doing that and then i want to like prank them as well by like going into their like shopping basket and like grabbing like I don't know like a packet of toilet roll or something, and then like picking it up, and they're saying, "Oh, I've been looking so hard for these," I haven't, and then they'll be like, "No, that's my toilet roll. Give me back my toilet roll." You know what I mean? Or like, give me back my um, you know, packet of carrots or whatnot. You know what I mean? So it's like I'll be pranking them at the same time, and I'm like, "Can you show me where they are then?" I'll be like, "No, I want these ones." You know what I mean? To like really prank prank them. 
And hopefully I could probably make some good friends out of that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, maybe there might be like some young guy there or young girl who's about my age, who's doing shopping or whatnot. And I'd like prank them or like joke with them or something, you know? And then that'd be a really good way to socialize as well as getting entertainment for the people on my YouTube as well. But it's just me at the moment trying to make friends as it is as difficult. You know, I have apps called Yobo, I have the LGBT app for dating, and I'm kind of getting there, but it's mostly, mostly older men that like to, like, really want to, like, try and be my friend, you know what I mean? So it's like, 30-year-old guys are, like, feeling very attractive to me, feeling very attracted to me, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's hard to find someone exactly in your location. Who is willing to be your friend, which is the difficult part. I did actually make a friend, but it didn't last very long, and it was with this American girl, and I think I did tell tell you this story. But I was just outside and I was just like film, filming a video and this American girl comes up to me. She's like, Hey, I really like your hair and I'm like, Oh, thank you, you know what I mean? And it's like <laughs> sorry if that was offensive, but like that's what she was like and she was 19, and she got the wrong impression that I was trying to, like, flirt with her, but I wasn't. I, I was just very fucking excited and happy that I had made friends. But, shit fucking happens, innit? <laughs> you know? But that would have been cool, you know what I mean? Like, if I had made real friends at the time. Because a lot of the people that I hang out with right now are kind of busy. And sometimes they don't really have time to um, to hang out, you know. Me, I've got all the time in the world, you know. Like I said, I got kicked out of my job. Well, I didn't get kicked out, but I got let go. Because my mental health conditions were getting too severe in that workplace, you know. But I had to do training on that job. You know, I was getting trained and stuff, which was pretty cool. I was meeting so many new people. Everyone was so kind, though. Like, that, that was the thing. Everyone was so kind. There was only, like, two people who I didn't really get on well with. You know? Some of them were very sarcastic as well, but... In a way, I feel like it was kind of a good thing that they, that they let me go. Because they were very understanding of my conditions. But, um, yeah. Yeah. It would be pretty cool to do those pranks, though. Like, it's not like... I prank my best friend, <laughs> you know, it's like pranking random people, you know, and I would love to be able to do good for this world, you know, how all these big YouTubers, like, give random people, like, so much money and stuff, I would love to do that, but obviously I can't do that until I make something good, you know, or I do something successful. Um, which I do have plans for. I do have plans. Um, I do have plans to be somewhat successful in something. But I'm not going to be big successful, I don't think. You know, I know that people say that, oh, you know what I mean? You can, you can do anything, you know? But in my opinion, I personally believe in reincarnation. So I believe if I don't fucking make it in this life, I'll make it in another. Um, that's the attitude that I have. Um, I don't like scientists. I really fucking don't like scientists. Um, and I used to say this when I even first started making YouTube videos. I used to be so fucking against scientists, and I still am. Because I feel like they fuck with things that shouldn't be fucked with. You know what I mean? Like, like I was thinking about this this morning, alright? How that they're trying to make... A computer that's gonna be fucking smarter than the human race. 
what? Why, why, why are you doing that? You know what I mean? Like, do it in your own lab, okay? Do it in your own fucking lab. But make sure that the doors are locked and make sure that they're not going to fucking break out, you know? But it's like, why are scientists even thinking about this? You know? Like, oh, that's a good idea, you know? Big moustache Einstein saying, oh, that's a good... Well, well actually, no. Einstein was a very fucking clever guy. Well, so people say. I don't really know. <laughs> but it's like, all these scientists are like, oh, we can build all these computers and all these robots that are going to be smarter than the human race. Yeah, and they're going to outsmart us, and then they're going to be unstoppable. You know? And then they're going to take over the human race. You know? I think it should be nature that's going to take over the, the human race. I think that's how it should be. I don't think it should be AI created by humans that should take over the human race. Because, again, that's not natural, you know. Uh... I made this a bit too fat. But, oh, well. But... That's that's what I think anyway, you know. And the fact how that in schools and stuff, this is why this is this is the big reason why I left school, all right? Was because a. Well, I actually can't tell you the big reason why I left school. The big well, one of the bigger reasons, um, because I got into a fucking bad dodgy situation, but um. It was not too bad, but I just fucking knew this person was a fucking nutcase in school. Anyway. But, um... I can't talk about it right now, but... Anyway. When I was in school, a lot of the girls in that were all coming into school with, like, makeup and shit and fucking bags and stuff. And it's like, why are you coming to school dressing like, a hundred layers of makeup? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? It's like... This is school, you know what I mean? This isn't your fucking night out party time, you know what I mean? But, that's why. And everyone was just always on their phone, you know? And it's just like, for fuck's sake, man, you know? Where's where's the communication here, you know what I mean? Like, where's the, like, hi, sir, you know what I mean? Hi, hi ma'am, you know? There's none of that stuff. It's just kind of like, on your phone all the time. It's like, yeah, I get that this is a new generation of people on that, but it's like, have some consideration, have some communication, you know what I mean, it's, I'm not asking a lot, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking for a bit of communication, but, um, yeah, I left school, because of that reason, and I'll, I also left school, because I didn't really have friends, and I wanted a new change, and I just wasn't fucking getting there. Um, I was unhappy with the way how I looked. I went through a lot of fucking self-injury and stuff, um, which I still fucking am doing, which I need to cut out, but, um, I need a, I, I just wanted out of it, you know what I mean? I just wanted to do something different. Mm, mm. Yeah, the big reason why I left was because I have never really done science in school ever. I refused to do it. I really did refuse to do it because I didn't like it. And um, what they were doing was in some of their biology classes, they were actually getting fucking legs of animals, you know, like chickens and stuff, and like cutting them and shit. You know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, I understand like it's uh, it's to learn how an animal works or something, but it's just so fucked up and sick. You know what I mean? If you really want to know how an animal fucking works, go on Google and get a picture of a dead fucking animal. You know what I mean? You don't need to be some fucking sociopathic motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's why I left. Because it was like, I'm not fucking being friends with people who do that shit. And I would even get to the point where I fucking asked people, you know, who were in school. I said, did you ever do science? And I was like, what kind of, what kind of science classes did you do? You're like, oh, so we got this animal and we fucking did this and that to it. Yep, bye. Blocked. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, that's how I was, like, so fucking dead against science. And I still am because of that reason, you know? They can do a much better fucking job, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to work in vets, if you want to be uh, someone who works in vets and that and help an animal, yeah, sure. 
But again, <laughs> I don't think that's something that they should be teaching children at that young age. Me, I was different. I was I was a fucking edge lord. Uh, I was fucking bad, but I was fucking bad for it as well. I just didn't give a fuck about anyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just too sad and I was too busy fucking cutting my arms and legs, you know. <laughs> Saying, I, f I hate life, I hate it. And I'm still like that today, you know. I still haven't grown out of my out of my kid kid attitude, you know. I'm still, you know, I'm only 18, you know. I mean, I'm still in that fucking teen mindset, you know. I'm still probably going to be in that teen mindset until I'm, however long, you know, but that's just how I've always been, you know, I've always been so edgy and so, <laughs> it's funny because I make jokes about it now, you know, because if I was born in, say, 1950, 1956, you know, and if I was like that in school, people would think I'm fucking not okay, <laughs> you know what I mean, people would think that I'm either not okay or that I'm some fucking serious kid, you know what I mean? But in today's in today's life, it's just a fucking joke now, you know what I mean? Yes, some people are like that and they are serious, but people just got fucking used to it, you know what I mean? You know, people used to say, oh my god, you're just a fucking psychopath, you know? <laughs> Why do you hate these people? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm not going to go too much into it, because people will actually still think that I'm still a psychopath, but... I was never really a psychopath, I was just kind of a bit not all fucking there, you know? Just a bit fucking not right, you know? And I'm still not a bit fucking right, you know? I'm still a bit fucking weird, and I'm still a bit kind of fucking... You know what I mean? Like, if you've had conversations with me, you know? People have had conversations with me. Like, like people outside, like, real, who've spoken to me, they think that I'm not fucking okay sometimes, you know, with some of the stuff that I come up with, you know? And I like that, because that makes you unique. And that makes you different to anyone else. And there's nothing more in this world that I love than uniqueness and weirdness. I love weirdness. I love weird. I just love weird. I love it. You know, like, talk to plants, talk to trees, you know? Say hi to random people, you know, no no one ever does that, you know, I mean, people just walk past each other with no communication, you know. I talk to everyone. But in a way, I prefer when someone talks to me first, like, if I'm outside by myself, I'll rarely talk to someone, you know, like with that American girl. She came up to me first. You know what I mean? She literally just came up to me and says, I really like your hair. And I was like, sorry, what was that? Because I had my headphones in. And she says, no, I was just saying I really like your hair. And I was like, oh, thank you. And she was like, are you trying to make friends in lockdown? And I'm like, yeah, actually. And I was kind of giggling and stuff because I was, I was really happy because I was actually going to make friends now. But she blocked me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And she was fucking doing magic mushrooms. So, yeah, people who say that you're going to be all spiritual and happy when you take magic mushrooms, that is utter bullshit. Utter bullshit. You need to be a good person first to be able to take that. You can't just be someone that's like, Hey man, I want to get fucked up, man. Hey man, you want to do some types of LSD, yes, man. You know what I mean? You, you, you can't be one of them types of person, people first. You know what I mean? you got to be, you know, smoke a little grass. Meditation, you know, you gotta be loving towards other people. You gotta be a loving type of person before you take them, you know. Otherwise, you've just become a bit of an idiot, you know. And sorry to say, but you will. But again, we're all idiots, you know. I'm a, I'm an idiot sometimes, you know. I mean, I'm a fucking asshole at times. I'm a fucking asshole at times. I, I, don't, I don't, I'm admitting that I'm a fucking asshole. I am. And I'm happy that I admit it, you know, because the pe pe people will know, you know what I mean? People think, yeah, you're a fucking dick at times. It's like, yeah, I'm a dick. Oh, well, that's good. At least admit it. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, no, I didn't do that. I didn't do this. You know what I mean? I'm autistic. I have autism. 
<laughs> I have a reason to be this way. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's just... Just love one another, you know? It has definitely been pretty hard on the people our age, even below my age, you know? Even older than my age, it has been really difficult with just all this COVID stuff and, you know, staying indoors, blah, 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 you know? But we're getting out of it. We're getting out of it. We're finally returning to normal. The restrictions in England are getting removed. But they say that in September, um, we'll be free of COVID or that we'll be, well, not free, but there is a possibility that we will be back to normal in September. I highly fucking doubt that. I think that we're going to be stuck in this for another two year, I think. Another two year, we're going to be stuck in this. Um, but in a way, I'm just going to start ignoring it now and I'm going to be ignoring the whole mask situation because it's just been going on for far too long. I haven't been wearing my mask and I've been fine. Um... I've got to be careful what I'm saying though on YouTube because they'll probably take this video down for me talking about this, but um, yeah, I, I just don't wear my mask as much as I should, but I've been fine. But if you really want to be safe, wear your mask and be safe, you know, wear your mask, you know, be, be, be safe and be okay, you know what I mean? If you're already ill, wear your mask. But it's your own personal choice, of course. I ain't gonna judge you because of that. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say, oh no, 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 wear your mask, wear your mask. You, know? you shouldn't be out. You should wear your mask. You know? No, it's your choice, man. If you want to wear, wear your mask, wear your mask. You know, do whatever you feel is safe. You know, not do not what what other people think. Do what you think is safe. You know, with your own mind. You be the judge. You be the judge. You know. You be the judge. Ah, uh, greetings to the world. I love that song. You know, Damien Marley, Burn Them. I love that song. I don't listen to it as much, but I only really listen, li I only really listen to it when I'm really fucking high. You know, because Damien Marley is the son of Bob Marley. And I wrote a comment, I added, you know, at, you know, at someone on Instagram to one of Bob Marley's children, Addy, well, not children no more, but, you know, I mean, one of his sons, you know, because he's obviously older, he's like in his 40s now. And this was, what's his name? He's got like 12 children, Bob Marley, he's got like so many children. Uh, he's got Ziggy Marley and Damon Marley. Um, who else is... Oh, I can't remember. You know what I mean? He's got an awful lot. But um, one of them, he has glasses. And I added him and he liked my comment. He loved it. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my god, I'm such a huge fan of your father. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. I love Bob Marley. He's like... like I, I used to watch all his interviews. You know what I mean? I was like, man, I wish I met you. I really wish I met you, you know? I will meet him, though. Just not when I'm in this body, when I'm in a spiritual... When I'm in my spiritual self, when I'm in my ghost self, I'll meet him, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a good lighter, by the way. That's my own personal lighter that I ha that I use. It's just so. You know what I mean? You get the right spark off it, you know, and then the flame. I love it. It's such a good lighter, you know. It's one of the the metal lighters. This one's actually hard to get because most of them have the wheel on the on, on the end. I don't like it with the wheel because it's just in the way of my hand. You know what I mean? I like the smoothness of it, you know. But this is nice lighter. I really like it. I've got another one somewhere which is the same, but um somewhere. I do have the other lighter. 
here we are. I don't know why I don't use this lighter. Why do I not use it? Yeah, because it's got a, a word on it that I put. It's got a sticker on the other side of it. But th but but this is that that, that this this is the same lighter as that one. Um, it's just because I've got a sticker on this bit that I'm not gonna show you what the sticker is because that'll come in time. That'll come in time. But there's a, a word on it. Well, it's actually got my name on it, but it's my new name that I've got, which will come in time, which will come in time. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've got big fucking plans coming. Everything is becoming so much more clear to me now. It's definitely coming and it's definitely going to go, but, um, yeah, that's why I bought myself another one, because it doesn't have a sticker on it, and I wanted to take the sticker off the other one, and I can't do it yet, because it's just stuck on it, and I don't really like the sticker, so um, I'm going to get it off. I have so many clippers, like, I've got this one, and then I've got, like, I'm actually going to show you my clippers. I have another one, but it's not in this room. It's the, the devil one. The Satan lighter that I have. But where is this other lighter that I've got? I'm trying to find it. My room is a really... My, my drawer is so bad at the moment. Because I've got so many things. But this is my other clipper. Which is a cannabis leaf on it black i'm actually going to get myself another one of these because whenever i drop one of my clippers right whenever i drop it i need to buy a new one like even if it gets like the little scratch on it or no scratches i need to go get another so it's like i can't do that you know but this is the other clipper that i have the flint is gone on it though this is my other clipper it's an all black one it's slightly matte but it's all black. The gas has ran out as well. That's why when I press down on the gas, it's not going to make another flame. So I can't really use that. Plus the, the gas is very... It's not got the right... Mm, to it, you know what I mean? It's very... What's the word for it? Not sticky, but very slow to push it down, you know? But this one, that's the sound you want. I'm actually letting out gas doing that though, that's dangerous. But, look at that flame. Buy yourself a clipper, because they'll last you forever, forever you know. That's why I only use clippers, you know. Yes, I've got the occasional, you know, one of these, a man, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got some of them. But the only reason why I use these lighters is because, oh, that's actually working. Oh, great. Got myself a spare little lighter. Brilliant. But the reason why I use these lighters sometimes is because if I'm taking this out, I might accidentally drop it or it might get scratched. But if I'm using this, it's like, I don't care if this is scratched, you know what I mean? It's not refillable. But, um, yeah, and I don't really care too much about them ones anyway but yeah I've got empty packets of cigarettes in here JPS players real red super kings green filter these are empty packets of cigarettes um, I only get the big ones if I'm smoking cigarettes but then again I am starting to quit but yeah, if I was going out and I wanted a, wanted a clipper, it would be either this one or the black one. This is my real, my real deal clipper that I use. Like, this is my special one. But the one that I have with the, with the name on it, 
Some fucking cycle bitch fucking used this lighter. She was fucking lunatic, honestly. Uh, see fucking drunk people in their fucking in their fucking psychotic mind. They get so fucking annoying, honestly. Anyway, that's another time for another fucking story. But um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been in some situations before, but, yeah. That's probably why oh, I don't fucking use that lighter anyway. Anyway. Uh, my fucking ears were fucking breaking, honestly, that day. Oh, uh, most annoying fucking day ever. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I was drunk and I was fucking stoned out of my mind that day. Well, that night. But again, another time for another fucking story, I guess. Um, but yeah. It was a good night, it was a good night, apart from that woman. But. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. We've recorded quite an awful lot in this video. It's been a good one, I'd say. It's been quite a good one. If my camera does cut out, I do apologise. It's because I've ran out of storage. Again, like I said previously in the video. But, um, yeah. I remember when rolling used to be hard, but you just kind of get used to it now, you know? I think this is probably the most cleanest roll that I've ever gotten. This one right here. In a long time. This is looking really good, actually. Wow. Look at that. Look at how clean that roll is. That is, whoa. That is what I call a cigarette. If I can give some advice to some people on my YouTube, don't drink and don't smoke. Don't drink and don't smoke. I don't drink, but I do smoke. If someone gives me a joint, I can smoke it, all of it, if it's a big one, or if there's like a small little bit of weed. The less weed you have in a joint, the more stoned you're gonna get. But the more weed you put in a joint, it's just gonna be, you're just gonna get the basic stone. That's a little tip from me. But, um, if I'm smoking a joint or whatnot, I'll feel good. But if I'm having like a few beers, I'm fucked. I'm fucked after a few beers. I'm really drunk after only a few beers. I can smoke an awful lot, right, but I can't do drink, I can't drink at all, like, I can drink, but I'm like, ooh, you know, my drunk, my drunkness only lasts about an hour, and it's like the most drunk that I would ever feel, in one hour, like, I'm stumbling, I'm, I can't move, I'm talking too loud, you know, it's just not a good fucking time, you know, yeah, being drunk is kind of fun, but it's scary sometimes as well, because your soul out of it in your mind, you're so, uh, you know, and you're so drunk, and it's just, I don't like it sometimes.
And I like to make videos where I talk about stories as well because it grabs your attention and it makes you want to watch them. So that is why I like to make videos where I'm talking about stories and stuff and situations. Because it's entertaining. It's entertaining for people. But yeah, I need to get things done for summertime because I'm going to go out a lot, an awful lot in the summer. I'm going to do um, a lot of chilling out in the park or whatnot. I'll be smoking a bit of weed then as well, hopefully back in the summer. Um, it's just, you've got to be careful with it, you know. You can't overdo it because it can be bad for your mental health and stuff and Weed can already also be bad for people who have mental health conditions, but, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to try and be okay with it. I'm not going to try and go too much into a panic attack because of it, because that fucking sucks. If you're over high and you get a panic attack, fucking hell, man, that fucking sucks, bro. That sucks, dick. And it doesn't just suck one dick as well. It sucks several fucking dicks. Yeah. I know it sounds funny, but it does, man. It's just so fucking... Oh, I hate being... I hate having, having a panic attack while I'm high. That's why... It, that's because it's so strong now. You know what I mean? Like, years ago, if you asked people who used to smoke weed back in the day, they used to say that you know, you would get this fucking shitty weed and it would come in like a block. It would look like this fucking 80s, you know, fucking Pablo Escobar type of weed stuff that you would get. Well, well no, because Pablo Escobar used to sell some really good fucking shit. But, like, it would be this weed where it would be like in a block. About that big, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, you would get blocks of that and then you would sell it for, like, an awful lot. But years ago, you would have small little bricks of that. And then when you would open it, they would have bits of fucking plastic in it and shit. And, yeah, if you would get real good bud back then, it wouldn't be that strong. But you would get really fucking shitty stuff as well. Because obviously they never had the proper good growing equipment for it. I mean, who do you know? Who can access, who can get growing lights in the 80s. No one, you know. So they would always have to get it imported and stuff, you know. But um, that's why things, that's why drugs are so expensive. Because it, cause it needs to be imported and stuff, you know. And you you, you, you can't go grow coke, coke here, you know what I mean. You can't, you can't grow it here. Well, you probably could, but it would be hard to, to do, you know. You need to do a lot of fucking missions. <laughs> like GTA to do it, you know what I mean? You need to be in GTA and do all like those fucking cocaine supply missions and stuff, you know? <laughs> I'm looking for a new kind of series to watch on Netflix. Something that's kind of like that, you know? I watched a bit of Narcos. Narcos is good, and it's only like rated 15 as well. But it's good, because it's like an 18 raid, but it's like 15, I think. But it's like, it's, it, it, it is kind of violent, but it's not too violent, you know what I mean? It's just very kind of like, it's good, you know? I actually got muddled up, because when I was watching Narcos, um, I, I ended up watching Narcos Mexico on like episode number two, and I was like, whoa, who the, who the fuck is this guy, you know what I mean? Because I, I watched the wrong one, you know? And I had, like, a completely different intro as well, you know? It's crazy how cannabis has been used for the past 2,000 years or whatnot, or longer than that. Well, well longer than that, I think. I think it's been used for, the, for like, 3,000 years, or 1,000 1, years, I don't know. But it's been a long time since people have been using it. And still today, it's like one of the most commonly used drugs in the world. Illegal drugs, you know. 
and even all these big massive uh, drug drug lords and that from like Pablo Escobar times they they were still selling it and using it and stuff you know so it's like it's crazy how this plan is being used for drugs and that and how it's been used for all that time and it's like they're still using it for selling and stuff and it's the same with tobacco as well you know people have been smoking tobacco for well in, in cigarettes that's been used since the 1700s or whatnot but tobacco itself you know through the pipes and whatnot has been used for thousands of years um it's i love i love looking at the the ancient use of plants and medicinal plants and their uses it's just amazing to to listen to that and to watch that you know it's just crazy how it's still being used that way you know but yeah I love lighting this lighter. I ash a lot, by the way. I, I ash a lot. You know what I mean? Like, every single time like, I take a jar, I'm always ashing it. You know what I mean? Even if there's, like, a tiny little bit on it, I'm always ashing it because I'm, like, I'm so scared that it's going to go on me. Because I've got a burn hole from a cigarette on my pyjamas. Two of them now. Not these ones, my other pair. So I'm using these, but I've got a bigger hole. In, I've got a massive hole in these pyjamas, by the way massive hole in the wrong place you know what I mean so it's like even when I'm outside wearing these it's like I'm scared in case people actually see the hole I saw I'm wearing big clothes and stuff to hide it I would love to wear like leggings and stuff but like male leggings like unbranded stuff like just pure white or pure black leggings you know, like the, the female ones, you know what I mean? Because I just think they look cool, you know? I don't like wearing, like, baggy clothes, like, baggy, um, baggy sweatpants. I like wearing skinny stuff. But then I'll wear, like, a baggy, baggy t-shirt or baggy hoodie, you know? Like this, this, this hoodie that I have is a 3XL, you know? And the hood isn't big, you know what I mean? Which I like. So it's not like the whole hood is going to be big as well. You know what I mean? I've got like so many hoodies. I've got like... I've got this hoodie. Black hoodie. I have this this hoodie here. I've got my hippie hoodie that I like. My hippie hoodie. I love this hoodie. And this has been washed as well. But this is a nice hoodie, but it's an extra large. So it's like it doesn't fit me too well. I only wear 2XLs or 3XLs, but now I'm wearing 3XLs because obviously I'm growing and I'm gaining a bit of weight and stuff, you know? I'm going to go on a, um, a hoodie spending spree soon. I'm just going to buy like a lot of hoodies and like a lot of like skinny joggers and stuff. Because I think they look cool. But, um, yeah. I think I'm going to stop the video at about one minute past one hour. This video is probably going to be about 16 gigabyte. Yeah, that's how, that's how powerful my videos are at the moment. Like, that's why I'm recording at such a high rate, but when I upload them onto YouTube, they only come out at about 480 or 720. Hopefully this comes out at 1080, though. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. It'll come out at 1080. I would need to put it through a, a video editor. To make it either 4K or 1080. But I'm not going to do that. Because it's just far too... You know what I mean? It's like it's just me just sitting here. You know what I mean? It's not as if I'm outside somewhere filming a really good video. Yeah. I might go for a little nap soon actually. Because I've been up since 6. I've had good sleep though. 
and I didn't have a weird dream, thank God. My weird dreams are finally slowly getting back together. It's because I took that, that drug, it's because I took that sertraline antidepressant that fucked my head. You know, I couldn't fucking masturbate or anything because of that fucking, that fucking drug, man. Honestly, and I, and, I, and I had a UTI because of it as well. Well, I don't know if that was because of the cause, but it was just a bad mix when I had severe depersonalization and derealization disorder. When that was on the severe level, where I didn't feel real and everything scared me. And I couldn't function good because of it. And then I had a UTI because of it and I was sat on my bed, cry, well, almost crying, you know, because it was so painful. And then, at the same time, I was having all these weird, freaky dreams as well. And I couldn't fucking masturbate as well. So it was like, fuck, <laughs> you know? And me being a gay kid, that can get fucking sad sometimes, you know? <laughs> Especially when I'm talking to a lot of fucking men. But, um, yeah... But I'm 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 good now. I'm good now. I'm probably gonna do that after my video. <laughs> See, I don't give a fuck. I just talk about whatever comes to my mind on my YouTube. You know, I mean, I'm not very like, I'm not like a normal type of person where I'll just be like, you know, I mean, I'm just gonna go on my game. You know what I mean? Or I'm just gonna go out. I'm like, I'm just gonna go for a fucking nap. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I'm weird and I love being weird because I don't like to be like anyone else. I like to be different. I like to, I definitely like to be different, you know. And I think that's why I like being autistic a lot is because you're not like anyone else and you just be yourself, you know. And um, just because I'm a, just because I've got a YouTube channel, I, I I love everyone who's fans of it, of course. But it's like I'm just an ordinary person. You know what I mean, I'm not here to be like some massive celebrity or whatnot. Even if that did happen, I'd still probably be the same. I wouldn't be like hiding stuff. <laughs> I mean, I probably would, but I wouldn't be doing it deliberately. Well, I probably would be doing it deliberately, but just, like, laughing at it at the same time, you know? Finding it so funny that people are wanting to, like, paparazzi so you're trying to take pictures of me and stuff. I'm, like, hiding, you know? No, it's just, like, me going, like, you know? <laughs> That's funny. In fact, no, maybe I might go on my game. I might play a little bit of um, Red Dead Online. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I am, um, I'm gonna buy some gold packs on Red Dead. So, I don't need like, spend it on cash, I can just buy gold in game. Like 25 gold bars, then I can buy like all my outfits that I need. I've already bought my beige kind of sandy colored bandana. I need to rank to level 17, I think, before I can get my double action revolvers. And then I'll customize all of them. I'll, uh, I'll probably pay cash in them. But only like gold for like my pants or my little like my rope gun thing, you know. And my holsters, because I need two holsters for my two double barrel, my two double action revolvers but yeah I, you know, I've got I've got a new PS4 account like I said that I'm gonna get maybe about 300 million GTA cash on my other account because I don't really want to fuck up with my, with my original account I'm at level 463 on my original GTA online account I rank like fuck I ground uh, you know what I mean I fucking played a lot of GTA to get that level like four whole years of just playing GTA every day <laughs> To get to that level. And it's like. I'm successful in my ordinary GTA account. But it's like I want to be. 
modded on my other account. I'm not going to buy like a modded account, I'm just going to mod it up by using a site. A site that can give you a lot of money in the game. Like you pay like a hundred pound and then you'll get like 300 million, you know? Like you can pay 60 pound, right? To get eight million dollars by Rockstar instantly in your in your account for sixty pound, eight million, and then there's cars in the game that which are like two point five million, so you're only gonna get like a casino penthouse maxed out, and then like two high top range cars which are like one point six million and then two point five million, and then that's all you can get. But whereas you can pay sixty sixty pound and get like a hundred million, you know what I mean? So it's like it's much more cheaper. just means that you need to get someone who can do that for you to go onto your account and mod it for you but it's a legit site they got their own discord and stuff I'm on their discord now but I'm gonna get the account next week I'm gonna buy it next week Yeah, this cigarette is done. It's literally right to the filter now. Anyway, that says done for the video. And I haven't actually drank an awful lot of this Coca Cola, which is good. So I'm really happy about that. And I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you've made it this far, Thank you so much. I love you all, honestly, just for being on this channel. Thank you so much. If you stay to the very end, comment. You know, like I said, you don't need to watch my videos if they're too long for you. I completely understand that you have your own things to do in your day, or if you're busy, or if you've got your work to do, or whatever you're doing, your career. Obviously, that comes first, but... Thank you so much for just coming on my coming on my videos and just watching them, chilling out falling in love with my videos or whatnot or with me thank you so much <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much for watching the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down and i'll see you in my next video when it comes about probably in the next probably next week i'll probably make a new video um might be about a 15 minute long video i don't know um, or, that's actually a really good idea, or, I might make a broad broadcast, um, a video on me with $300 million on my bank account, in my GTA, so, look out for that, and I'll just be buying a lot of fucking cars, chilling out, obviously there won't be any drugs in the video, because obviously I'll stop with my drug use now, I've still got my, have I got it? should be somewhere. I have a little bag for my little drugs that I use. For my little cannabis that I use, you know. <laughs> I've got scales in here. For when I'm wearing my bud. I got a, a GTA disc in here. That needs to be cleaned before I can use it. Thank you, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. But yeah, I've got... Where are they? Because they actually need to be put out and put into a different bag. Some one of these bags. Typical drug bag. <laughs> you know. But um, it is in here somewhere. If I can't find it, then... Oh well. But it definitely is in this drawer somewhere. Oh, are we in luck? We're in luck. We are in luck. I have my little bag here. So this is where I've got all my little drugs in here. It actually needs filled up, but it's in the same bag. So I have grab a leaf in here. Natural Jamaican grab a grown in Jamaica. It's dried out. I could wet it out again, but I don't know, probably not. This is this is grown in Jamaica, by the way. This was grown in Jamaica. It cost me like ten pound for like a leaf. 
you know, a big grab of leaf. And it's good, you know, because they they grow all over there, you know. I mean, they they have it in their stores and whatnot. It's all falling apart though. But I have my my pipe, my crack pipe in here for my weed. I got some grub in there somewhere, but that's my my smoking pipe in there for my ganja for my grabba. Well, not my grabba, not my grabba because my grabba is far too strong. But that's how I smoke the wrong tobacco and the mild stuff because that stuff is strong. I never knew tobacco had different strengths until recently. And the same as cigarettes, you know. What I mean, you can get red, you can get blue, you can get green, you can get gold, you can get you know silver ones, you know. Same with rolling paper, papers, you know, you can get Rizzle Silver, Rizzle Red, Rizzle Green. See, Rizzle Thin Green, Green, Green one, you know. But yeah, these are regular kind of papers, they're, they're, they're thin, they're thin. They're the same as reds, pretty much, you just got cut corners on them. Cut corners. Do I have another one that has cut corners? Is this cut corners? Yeah, that's got cut corners. But yeah, I've got so many in here. I've got empty packet of Rizzle papers. I've got. If you buy a packet of rolling papers, uh, not rolling papers, if you buy a packet of, ta of tobacco in the UK, you get free rolling papers that look like these. Oh, wait, no. They aren't the ones. But these have 50 papers in them. These have 60 papers in them. So if you're buying the rolling tobacco, like a packet of rolling tobacco, then you get the 60 papers of them. But if you're buying normal, like these. Oh no, man. They're weird. They're weird. They're. Oh, that's, that's weird. They got. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> no, but if you get. A pack of the tobacco, you get 60 papers of yours, but if you're buying them ordinary, like just in the store, you go, you only get 50, I think. But these are weird, because these are like normal, you know what I mean, like thin, like that, and then these actually have a little dip in them, you know what I mean, like, see the dip on top, like there, that's weird. Oh, there's a paper in there. Whoa, what the fuck is that paper? What paper is that? Smoking. Oh, smoking paper. Right, okay. These are nice papers, by the way. Smoking red. Smoking red papers are good. And I got medium thin red Rizzle papers, which are just torn up like fuck. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video, my people. Sorry for all the distractions. Yeah, peace out. Love you all. Have a lovely day.